Hello everybody, welcome to The Geek's Handbag, coming to you from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I hope you're keeping well. Today I'm going to be pulling not one, but two Robert Harrop figures out the bag to take a look at. I've got the Clockwork Soldier from the second Doctor story, The Mind Robber, and a Mutt from the third Doctor story, The Mutants. So, let's start by taking a look at the Mutt. So let's start as we often do by taking a look at the packaging and what's all this? A new box from Harrop. Yes, I had a feeling this would happen sooner or later. So gone is the big chunky Doctor Who logo replaced with the new one, which has been stacked. And actually, I think that looks really nice on there. Sticker underneath says, Salonian Mutant from the Mutants, limited edition of 200 from the third Doctor era, 1970 to 1974. Turning it round, we've got a really nice picture of the TARDIS. Not Jodie's TARDIS though, because it's got the handle on the right there whereas hers is on the left I actually think I prefer it on the right and that just looks really nice on the side we've got a bit of legal stuff and on the other side we've got a bit more TARDIS and on the top we have another sticker which tells me that this is number 103 of the 200 made and that's pretty much it for the new packaging and I really like it so without further ado let's set that mutant free Ta da And here he is, and doesn't he look fantastic? Harrop have done a brilliant job on the sculpt of this. We recently reviewed the mutants on the podcast, and although I found the story itself a little bit hard going, one of the things I did like about it was the design of the muck creatures themselves. And this is what I love about Harrop. In the episode, the costume looks a bit rubbery, and you can tell it's a person in a suit, but they've taken that original design and just made it look absolutely brilliant. This is how I imagine it might look if it was in the series today. I'm really impressed with the paintwork on this figurine, there's been some lovely shading done to it and it really helps to bring out the finer details of the sculpt. So taking a closer look at the top half of the creature and look at those big beady eyes staring at you, don't they look great? That's one of the things I worry about with a hand painted figurine is the eyes because often they're very hard to paint and get right but these have been done really well, they look fantastic. Love all the sculpting around here, these things here and his big claw and also the layers around the top half look really nice as we turn him round you can see all the bumps on his back and the shading on the paints and the paint apps looks really really nice across that. Taking a look at the lower half of the figurine and you've got this piece here, what would you call it, a tail, a, a pouch, anyway that looks nice, all the way round to his little feet, look at those, no wonder they were waddling around those caves of those tiny little feet, and the base as well which is nice, it's kept simple as usual and that looks really good. Talking to the base on the bottom you've got a nice piece of felt protection and a sticker which clarifies this is piece number 103 of the 200 made. And just like all the other Harrop figurines, you get this nice certificate of authenticity, which confirms the number again. And on the back, it gives you a nice little write-up about the mutants. And do pause now if you want to read what it says. So the Mutant Mutt figurine gets a massive thumbs up from me. I think he's a great addition to the ongoing Doctor Who range from Robert Harrop. He's available now from their website for £65. And if you want one, I wouldn't hang around. He's limited to just 200 pieces. And once they're gone, they're gone. And then they end up on eBay for really silly prices. So if you want one, I'd get one now. Right, let's move on to the Clockwork Soldier. So as you'd expect the packaging for the Clockwork Soldier is exactly the same in the new box and we've got a sticker here which tells us Clockwork Soldier from the Mind Robber limited edition of 200 from the Second Doctor era 1966 to 1969 and the number I've got is number 186 of the 200 made. Here he is, Clockwork Soldier from the Mind Robber, which was actually the first Second Doctor story I ever saw, and I've always really loved it. And these guys were a very iconic part of that story. Once again, the figurine looks really, really nice, and he comes with a little key to put in his back so we can wind him up. I remember the noise they made in the episode. I can hear it in my head right now, just looking at this figure. And this was the Christmas piece. So this was released just before the Mutt figure. Uh, and again, it was limited to 200 pieces. And I think it was a really nice choice as the Christmas figurine. What a handsome fellow. Yes, once again, the paint applications on this look fantastic. They're all very neat on the buttons and the face and the light on his hat. I love the vibrant red colour of his jacket. It really makes the figurine stand out. And I also like the fine detail of the tassels on his big shoulder pads as well. Obviously, he's got his sharp bay in it. And having this removable key in his back is also a really nice touch. I really like that. Taking a look at the lower half of the figure and he's wearing some very nice black shiny shoes and the white gloves against the black look really effective as well. There's also some really nice detail on the gun he's holding which is good. And the base once again is kept very simple but this light colour works really well in contrast to the black trousers. 
And as with all the Harrop figurines, we've got a nice piece of felt on the bottom for protection and a sticker telling us this is number 186 of the 200 made. In terms of height, he's 7.8 inches tall, so he's slightly bigger than the Mutt, who's 6.6, .6, but he is in scale with a second Doctor figurine, and these two look really nice together, don't they? Ew, Clockwork Soldier, Jamie, Zoe! Anyway, yes, they do look nice together, these two. So in terms of the sculpt and the paint applications, I really can't fault it. I think it's a beautiful figurine, and also a genuinely nice collector's piece. And he does of course come with his numbered certificate of authenticity and on the back there's some information about the story he's from. And if you'd like to read it, you know what to do. So the Clockwork Soldier from the Mind Robber, another beautiful figurine from Robert Harrop. He was £65 but I believe he's now sold out on the website. In fact I think I was lucky enough to grab one of the last few and I'm certainly glad I did because I think he's absolutely stunning. So the Clockwork Soldier and the Mutt join the rest of this Motley crew, two very welcome additions to my ever-growing Robert Harrop collection. Ah, lovely figurines, and I believe the next figure coming out from Harrop is going to be Omega from the Three Doctors, followed at some point in the future by the Morbius creature from the Brain of Morbius, so exciting times. If you'd like to order one of these beautiful figurines, I've put a link to their website in the description, and you won't be sorry. Anyway, that's it for me, hope you enjoyed this video. Do check out The Geek's Handbag on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And for those of you that like to use your ears, don't forget I do a weekly Doctor Who podcast with my friend Gary that goes every Friday called The Big Blue Box Podcast, so do give that a listen. And until the next time, guys, look after yourselves. Bye-bye!